Why did the robot stop? Well, the circuit was overloaded. It, it caused a fuse to blow. Well, why is the circuit overloaded? Oh, well, um, there was insufficient lubrication on the bearings, so they locked up. Now, why was there insufficient lubrication on the bearings? Well, let's see. The oil pump uh, on, the, on the robot was not circulating sufficient oil. Why was the pump not circulating sufficient oil? Well, you know, the intake was clogged with metal shavings. Why was the intake clogged with metal shavings? Well, because there was no filter to keep the metal shavings out. Aha! Uh -huh. So we have the... That the, was the fifth why? That was the fifth why. Oh, we know now. So we, we now know that there's no filter on the pump and that was the root cause. That's what Tichiono said. So what makes a good 5Y example and is this a well, good example? First off, example? by definition, this is a good example because it was the one he used to teach 5Ys. Okay. So if the guy who created 5Ys says this is a good example, who am I to argue with it? <laughs> So, so when we look at these examples, we want to look and say, did they get to root cause? Is there something missing? And is there something more? So what do we think about? What do you think about this example? Well, I think this is a, a good example of where five Ys fall short. Because first off, I don't think there's no filter on the pump is a root cause. 